Madobi local government area, one of the communities which gave the present administration of Governor Abba Yusuf a huge number of votes during the 2023 elections. It's a community which connects to other local governments and neighboring states such as Kaduna and Katsina. However, it has been challenged with access roads to move goods for a while now. <laughs> This will soon be a thing of the past, as Governor Yusuf, in company of Senator Rabiu Kwankwaso, has flagged off the commencement of an 85-kilometer road project worth 21 billion naira to bridge the gap between rural and urban communities. Today we are here performing a similar function, which is in line with our resolve to ensure spatial distribution of projects to cut across the length and breadth of our dear state which will ultimately lead to wider spread of wealth and more enhanced economic activities. The governor also noted that feeder access roads will be provided for farmers across the 44 local government areas in the state. It is also our intention to further reduce the existing wide gap between the urban and the rural areas. Hence, we have in the pipeline a robust integrated rural development plan that ensures comprehensive health care system, schools, provision of portable water, roads and related infrastructure. While the NNPP leader and founder of the Kwankwasia movement has applauded the governor for continuing with his initiatives eight years ago. Let me assure the governor, the government of Kano State on behalf of all of us, of continued support, continued prayers, so that his administration would succeed. Because we believe that the success of his administration is our success, the success of Madobi, Kura, Garimana, Kiri, Bebeji, and all other people who are likely going to do so. The government also promised that it will continue to offer results and purposeful policies for the equitable spread of dividends of democracy.